so 9 a.m. you're buying and then you're shipping daily or weekly or? Um, I'd come back. It, this is, I mean, I was, merchandise is heavy. Yeah. yeah. So I was packing it up in 20 by 20 boxes and then bringing those boxes to FedEx by myself. How many boxes? Like, like 10 at a time. Wow. Like 50 wow. Pounds. So wow. you're like a professional mover. Effectively. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it. when I go to visit, I only flew Southwest because yeah. they give you the two big bags for free. And right. I load those with merchandise and oh. I would just use my carry-on for personal thing. Yeah. So then it was free shipping. Southwest building entrepreneurs. I didn't know <laughs> so, Southwest. Oh yeah, yeah. that we so for my my project sites, a lot of them are outside of the state. Yeah. And my crews fly all over the country. Michigan, we just did a job uh, in Grand Rapids. Yeah. And they fly all over and we try to fly them southwest as much as possible. They just brought like two tool cases and, and stuff mm. out to uh, Iowa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it does. Yeah, it's move. a huge tip. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. I had yeah. no idea. And yeah, so then you're looking to sell the business? So I had a woman approach me and asked if I could consult. She wanted to open stores. She wanted to open stores in my area. And asked and you to consult. Or that's okay. Interesting. Yeah. Wait, you know, in your area in Michigan? Where to compete yeah, with you. In our, like, they call it the Tri-Cities. Okay. So, like, in the Tri-City area. Okay. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to just create my own competition. No. Here. And literally a light bulb went off. I was like, you're tired of this. Sell it to her. Like, mm-hmm. easy. Yeah. Like, She's trying to create that for herself anyway. Right. Yeah. And of course, I, I'll i give anyone advice. Yeah. But I mean, that was a little too close to home. Yes. Like, literally, you want to build a store seven miles away. So I, I presented that to her. Not even, I thought she'd laugh or something. She was like, that's a great idea. I didn't want to ask you. But you know, <laughs> she didn't like, want to ask. Yeah. You know, she just <sighs> wanted what I had. This is a great Great lesson to always ask <laughs> and to always you know put your said. foot out there. You never know like what if who she planted is holding the seed? back, you know? I disagree. Why? What if what if it was her idea the whole time but she wanted you to say it? Okay, that's well, fine. That's but fine. like I'm just saying. Okay. There's but, an inception but you, component. You would have had to have the wherewithal and the and have it in your head to be like, I think this is gonna be a better option for me. Yes. So to like, always put it out there. Pay me to consult? Right. I mean, right. I can get Ten times that out of her, yeah. you know, instantly. Right. Right. So, you're, so you're interested, or she's yeah, interested, and your brand suffer in the process, right? <laughs> what, what's your first step? You guys start reviewing the financials, or we do. So I, I need to come up with what the business was worth. Yeah. Um, and how did you I do that? So quickly, as we're doing <laughs> it, it's like goodwill is a big part of this. Like, yeah, it really is, and like, what do you mean by that? So I, I realized that I was a big part of it as well and what I had built. Oh, so got it. right. More so the customer base, the loyalty, the employees that I had, yep. the relationship with the university, all of that was like built up. And how do you put a price on like, listen, like I have an intern system right. set up. Like maybe you could take right. my board seat or whatever, like things like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you replace your impact there? Right. And know that it's all going to go to a good place and they have good intentions. You can't, right? So, so at the end of the day, you just have to model your valuation based on your revenue. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And a, a lot of it was, you know, just arbitrary in that way. And I was like, well, prove me otherwise. Yeah. And I think that's worth 20000 What do you yeah. think it's worth? Okay. Right. And she'd come back and say something. It was one year of negotiations. <laughs> a year? Yeah. Wow. And in that time, was she trying to build her own thing still or no? Did she table that to find out if she this was going to work? Okay. I, this seemed like this was really going to happen. Yeah. Okay. She was dead set on a third location where okay. she originally wanted her first store to be. So what we ended up, we came up with a number. It was probably about 30% less than I really would have wanted. Okay. And I'm sure it was 30% more than she really wanted to pay. Yeah. But that's how you meant the middle. Deal. Yeah. Was it like one or two times revenue? I just decided at the end of it, even though we broke it down, it was one times revenue. Oh. In a year. And at that point, we were doing a quarter million dollars for one store. Okay. okay. And we added in the second store. And then I said, also, I would stay on as a consultant because yes. we realized, too, it was my eye that kept this going, my right. access to things quickly in Los Angeles. So yeah. I also put myself in there and I had a job lined up for the yeah. next year, which mm-hmm. was great. Yeah. I thought that was cool because I didn't really want to part that quickly. No. Them. And yeah. were you still buying for them? You know, yes, I- I'd still yeah. stay the buyer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so in the 11th hour, I get a call from her attorney and she's getting cold feet. When I say the 11th hour, so I, Jean Pierre, he's my fiance, husband, partner, life partner. Amazing. We've been for 12 years. We're not married, but engaged. So people are like, what's that? Like, it's yeah. only on the curve wrestle. But okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> JP decides, he's like, wow, like, this is amazing. Like, something's finally paid off. I think I could take a break. 
I'm going to go to Italy with my friends. Wait, what? Yes. In like, not really on my dime, but kind of. Yeah. Like, Wait, what? We're going to be good for <laughs> yeah. this and is Before the, it happens. Nothing time. And he's yeah. on, on, on his way to Italy. Huge lesson. Effectively. In Italy. And I get this call. JP, come like, on. I, what time is it? Really? Yeah. So at first, I'm and, like, but, but you're home and you're you're like, well, well okay, screw me. I just built yes. up this huge business and now I'm selling it. I've got this opportunity. You're going to Italy, but you're here. He's the first to celebrate. In my mind, I was like, maybe I'll go. This like, is so strange. This is a red flag to me. I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Well, so Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... So he's that. Well, I get this call. Yeah. And, and when you say you, the 11th you, hour... Just so you know, never do that. <laughs> I don't. I that. don't have it in me to. First of all, <laughs> let's start with this. As an entrepreneur, I'm literally very frugal, mm -hmm. just naturally. Oh, um, everything you I'm see here is Natalia's <laughs> bougie I have a passion. entrepreneurship it's not bougie. world. So it's, I could live in a shoe. That's from a flea market. <laughs> anyway, yeah. and you never sell. Yeah. I mean, in real estate, you learn this quite literally I, and, I and you learned it right you don't celebrate in san francisco for free from some random you don't guy. celebrate at all until there's signatures <laughs> yes it's done done so yeah in your like case money in the bank where you're like, right right the, the wire, wire has gone through from like your savings your checking like, yes. your check you're like money it moves yes yeah. yeah it's real money when you say the 11th hour was the signature like expected that day that day okay and yeah. you get a call in the morning and that she doesn't want to go through with the deal that's so insane. hard no and it's not a year it's not we'd like to revisit some points we can we can wait. Is this an emotional response to everything? And he's like, "This is, you know, it's her decision." At the end of the day, I was like, "Was this the great. first time you had spoken to the lawyer, or were you guys in contact?" We were in contact, just going back and forth between okay. his lawyer and my lawyer, Got you it. know, with the terms, yeah, okay. of everything. Good enough guy. I mean, yeah. and he was like, "I'm so sorry." He didn't update you before this. There was no like mumblings of this at all. No. So then, do you contact the owner at some point? He said she wished not to be contacted right now. I'm like, oh, okay. So you just what left with what? Well, I fell to my knees crying. So oh. before I angrily called JP, like, get back over here. I, yeah. Naturally. I, because all of a sudden I'm like, well, this was a year of my life that I spent literally going to bat for my business. Like, yeah. you know, what I had built, why it's worth this dollar. Why? Okay, I'll take a discount there. And mm. it, it was exhausting. Yeah. I had said goodbye to my staff. Oh, it's going to make me emotional just thinking about it. Yeah, wow. Essentially, emotional. They were part of the deal. Like, they could choose to stay if they wanted to, but, you know, they were... They weren't going to be fired. Or, yeah. yeah. And it just... To then, it almost felt like, too, I was like, I have to walk back in and be like, no deal. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm back. Hey. Here. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. And not only that, I started to make other plans with my life because that was so many years of my life doing that. Yeah. And sure. I didn't know what I wanted to do with, with that money, but I, I knew it wasn't necessarily that. And I just wanted... A moment to breathe again and yeah. sort of figure it out and find more purpose in what of I was course. doing. But because I had already disconnected, I was like, I'll just That's close. so tough. So you closed? Well, I, I didn't tell anyone. So I, I went back to Michigan. You didn't tell anyone about the sale? Or the I close? I didn't tell my staff. You yeah. Know, yeah. Like, hey, we're going to, you know, she's not buying it. Um, you know, let's resume as if everything's normal. I, I kept buying a little bit. But I knew I was like, ironically enough, it was in an October. Mm. I, I was like, I'm going to go back for one month and I'm going to wrap up shop for one month. Mm -hmm. So I showed up October 1st and I didn't bring any merchandise with me. And that's the first thing. I'm like, she doesn't have her suitcases. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And I did a couple pop-ups, which we've done in the past, but I, I definitely I was taking inventory out of the store and I was showing up at different universities, sorority houses moving it at full price. I was like, I'm not going out with discount. No, no, no. You're going out and giving them an opportunity to buy yes. it there and it's a unique experience. Yes, and, and it was yeah. all new merchandise. It wasn't sort of that no. leftover stuff anymore. Sure. And then in the last week, I made an announcement, but we did it, I think, really beautifully on social media. It was, um, I had a friend put together a campaign. She has a social media marketing company. She didn't charge me really. I think her heart was like broken for yeah. me too. And <clears throat> yeah. she just made these beautiful images and these kind of cool quotes that like it's it's a new season for us like Athalia's is growing up and we're moving on to things yeah it was so eloquently put that you're watching it you're like oh my god this metamorphic oh wait they're oh they're, they're gone yeah and yeah I mean basically you sort of like gracefully bowed out